the Point Second Podcast. My name is James Keeley. With me, as always, is Sammy Schaefer. Hey, everyone. This is episode 39, mm-hmm. available Thursday, January 11th. Maybe we release it a little early for the fans. We'll try. Maybe the night of Wednesday. What's going on, Sam? Oh, just excited for NFL postseason. It's fun. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. You, you got you got the best guys in the game, you know? Sometimes they get into the playoffs on the first game, get embarrassed terribly. Yeah. Especially those big matchups. It's a little bit better with the... Uh, the, uh, the the number one seed being out though, so they don't get to whoop up on the uh, the, the the low man. But uh, yeah, everything good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, I don't know if you remember when we were doing Sketchfest. It always fell Wild Card Weekend. You oh yeah, because my brother Eric hated it. He's like, I want to come to your show, but I want to watch Wild Card. I'm like, man, make yeah, a, make a choice. Remember we had uh, 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 Mr. Tom Ives on the show, oh, yeah. and the Packers were in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. And he was trying to do the show and also make sure that no one told him what happened in the Packers game. And that turned into like an instant classic. It was yeah. a great game, and the Packers ended up losing at the end. Oh, that was a horrible game for him. Yeah. I don't think anything bad's happened in the football world that I will affect me. I haven't heard anything at today. All. My phone's been blowing up, but I've been very busy preparing for this show. So I assume things are great. Sammy, what's on the show? We've got game day food, a wild card weekend, and a Tuscaloosa tragedy. A Tuscaloosa tragedy, Sam? Is this game day food? Sammy, yeah, it's time for everybody's favorite food game. Is this game day food? Mm-hmm. Sammy, where are we? We are at Sonic Drive-In, also known as America's Drive-In, apparently. This is our first remote, I think, right? Mm-hmm. First, first food remote, First yeah. food remote. I mean, mm-hmm. we've done other remotes, but we're in a drive-thru. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of old, like, 50s style. It feels old school. You yeah. Know, there's people driving in and parking, and it's weird. Little little grease uh, vibe to it, and there will be grease in this food. I can't wait. The, the menu looks promising. Mm-hmm. Like, I like a lot of the things on it. Yeah. But you know, you never. They got like nerds shakes, nerds yeah. flavored shakes. I mean, that's a plus. Yeah. And it looks like a ton of grease and garlic on that menu. Okay. The garlic butter bacon cheeseburger. Ooh. That sounds fantastic to mm-hmm. me. That mm-hmm. sounds fantastic to yeah. me. Um, they got some hot dogs. Hot Fast food hot dogs. I don't know. I've never had a fast. I mean, I think McDonald's had hot dogs once like 20 years ago. I think uh, Burger King did. Oh, was it? Yeah. And they're they, like, they were terrible. They're like, we don't want to improve the bad burgers we have, but we we'll throw some hot <laughs> so dogs We're going to put time in something else that we're not special. Right? Yeah. <laughs> why, don't we get some, why don't we get some sushi on the menu? <laughs> so what do we have in today? Should we talk about this? Or yeah. Is it a big surprise? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, what do right. we have? Well, Sonic just came out with the new... Peanut butter supersonic double cheeseburger. So it is their special burger or their normal burger, but they slapped a bunch of peanut butter on there and a peanut butter shake. Ugh. And we're going to give both of those a shot. I'm excited, man. What, you, what are you sighing for? I, I, okay. Cheeseburgers and bacon cheeseburgers are perfect enough the way they are. <laughs> you throw a little sauce on there, you're good to go. Oh, I can't wait. Peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And I've heard they're great, but I just don't know. I, I love peanut butter on anything. It seems like a lot to Have me. Have you ever tried anything peanut butter uh, and it was bad? Um, well, well, we'll see now. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great, sir. We can't wait to try these. All right, no problem. Excellent. Do you need, do you need spoons with them? Uh, do you want a spoon? No, nah, we're good. They're we're usually fine. a little bit thick. So okay, yeah, maybe two spoons would be great. Yeah, get that for you. Thank you. What a nice guy. I like That's this really guy. Nice of him, actually. God bless him. Uh, All right. I'll set All right. So, out. so it looks like I've been trying to like, you know. Get my act together, yeah. Diet wise, this year, this is not helping. This show has definitely not helped me get my act together. This show is not helping, like, your revitalized career in the erotic <laughs> arts. No, no, I've lost that body. You might, you might. Uh, my mom's probably hoping for that. Like, thank God James takes so much to eat and drink all the time. Right. You can't dance anymore. You'll be on the Blobbendales. You remember, <laughs> yeah. you remember the Blobbendales? No. There's a bunch of guys that did Chippendales dances, but they were like 500 pounds. Wow. They're called the Blobbendales. I'd pay to see that. It, it was, uh, it, you wouldn't. <laughs> well, they were I mean, on. They were on some TV show. Okay, I mean, I paid to go see uh, the Penis Puppeteer. So you I, did. I did. Yeah, I went with family. Thank you very you much. Put some mints in there. Okay. Oh, perfect. We're gonna need yeah. that. Oh, what a guy. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. You. Okay. you too, sir. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. So Start with the, cut the bur- cut the car off. I'll cut the car off. Yes, All right. Come on, look at Mister. You're in a high performance minivan here. So that's nice, it. actually. All right. So I'm gonna go into this. Just letting you know, like, I love peanut butter everything. All right. I'm going in, too. I mean, we're not even bringing the cards right now. All right. Well, I'm going to be honest. They they only gave us the single. I thought you ordered. I'm pretty sure I did order the double. The so they already screwed that up. Okay. Sir, good service. But cheers. cheers. Good service, but messed it up. Okay. See, all I'm tasting right now is cheeseburger. There's very little peanut butter. 
Like you can kind of get a little bit on the end of it. And they're like the way they're advertising it. Like they globbed it on or something. They're like you won't you won't be able to get enough of this peanut butter. It's basically a peanut butter sandwich with a little bit of burger in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the opposite. Hmm. Yeah. Not as much peanut butter as I'd hold. All right. I, mean, I should put a whole jar on there. Forget that's going to be the selling point. I'm trying to like get to it. I'm going to like tear this apart. Nah, it's very little. All right, Sammy. You gave this a 6.5. 6 6.9. A little bit higher. It's still game day food. Yeah. But a little disappointed that I could barely taste the peanut butter. I drove 40 minutes to have a peanut butter burger. Yeah. And they barely slacked that. You, on the other hand, I think you're going 5.7. I got a, I got a, a, a 6.2. 6.2. Oh, it almost made game day food, huh? Almost. I mean, it's not the worst burger I've ever had. No. But here's what. I taste a little bit of the peanut butter. Mm-hmm. It's not doing anything. It just It's like an afterthought. It seems like someone made a um like a mistake in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And like rub peanut butter on like try to wipe it off real yeah. fast before and, they oh, gave it to us. This is a wrong bun. This is like the truly a burgers, you know, of like truly had a, a yeah. cheeseburger flavored drink that you could barely taste the burger. All, All right, right, so let's now, try this shake. Yeah. I mean it looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop the top there. Yeah. So this is peanut cheers, butter. Cheers, Sam. Peanut butter. Now shake. this I'm more interested in because mm -hmm. I've had peanut butter and shakes before. And oh yeah, baby. But he said this is very thick. Now here's 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 my thing. I don't separate separate the these things. I don't need bacon in this. I don't need bacon in this. Okay. Now, what's your thought on that? If they put bacon in here, but there's like a few bacon crumbles. You know, it's the same thing. They committed to a bacon peanut butter bacon shake and then they didn't put any bacon in there it's just that it's a little crumble on yeah. there. like put a couple strips in there mm -hmm. you can't get anything out of this straw no i'll give them that i mean it's a thick shake i like that you know shake shake wise they know what they're doing mm -hmm. all right sammy you gave this shake a 7.1 i'm so disappointed in the bacon. oh uh, 6.5 6.5 yeah yeah i mean like i wanted to be picking bacon out of my teeth as i was done eating yeah. this thing uh, Denny's did that once. They put big pieces of bacon in the chocolate shake. Yeah, but that was like ten years ago. I think you did. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I think you like shakes, but I don't know. I'm going six point four for you on this. Six point one. Six point. Didn't make it either. Huh? Didn't make it. Mm -mm. I, I just don't. I'm not tasting a lot of flavor here. I'm not tasting no. a lot of peanut butter. Not at all. And there's a lot of things on this menu I want to try. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they let to, let us down today. They led me astray. You're America's driving. Yeah, for America's driving. We, you are not listening to your Americans. We have an obesity crisis yes. in this country. We want grease. We want bacon. We want peanut butter. Just pile it on. If I'm going to, if I'm going to, you know, get heart issues mm -hmm. and we have to wear the pants with the elastic in them, I want it to taste good. Yeah. I feel like you failed us a little bit. This and was... you have to put a coin in the ba uh, the bathroom here because they don't want people doing horrible things in the bathroom. People do horrible things in bathrooms. Public, that are public bathrooms, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, that's like, I'm usually not a germaphobe, but when I go in a public bathroom, I'm grossed out. I know. It's drugs. There's there's blood. There's there's all the other things all that are in types bathrooms. types of human fluids. Every human fluid you could think of. It's been on those walls. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you know, and that's how I feel about this food today. I was reading an article about Ozempic that people are having success with. Oh, like they're losing weight with it or something? Losing a lot of weight, mm -hmm. but but there's a lot of side effects. Yeah, like what? <laughs> One of them was you got a you got a big bite of that. Hold on, yeah, well, <laughs> One of them was night pooping. <laughs> <laughs> That's a side in their bed. They just they're waking up and they're like, oh, I lost some weight, but I have to do a lot of laundry. I'm doing a lot of laundry. Oh my god, why would you ever take that? You have to poop your bed every night. They they hit. They're like, there's a miracle drug. You can lose weight. They're like, say no more. That's it. They're like, this night poop. No. <laughs> no, they already took it. Night bed pooping. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, us Americans, we work way too hard. We'll do anything besides go to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll poop my bed. No, I'm not going to get on a Stairmaster. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Look, you can cover a bed. <laughs> they make plastic sheets. They make for children. And they're like, can I get this one for a California queen? <laughs> yeah. So gross. So, um... Sorry, Sonic. Yeah, it's average. I probably won't come. I'm not driving 40 minutes to come back for this. I want to try the other thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm like turned off. Yeah, I'm going to get it for the ride. And the Ozempic thing. Well, maybe. that's true. I mean, I'm still eating. I don't care. It's gross, but I'm still going to keep eating. <laughs> I just, I don't know if all this is worth the calories right now. I got to tell you. No, not at all. All right. We tried. Mm. See you later. <laughs> all right. What's next?
Well, I was all excited for an episode 38 recap and talking about mm -hmm. the Clinton crime family and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, breaking news. Oh, yeah? Nick Saban's done. Eesh. Nick Saban is retiring, reportedly. By the time this airs, in a couple hours, it's probably going to be official. Um, that hurts. Very upsetting. Mm -hmm. I get it. But everybody's like, when's he going to retire? And they were all excited. And now my phone has been blowing up nonstop. I'm like, guess it's over. Mm -hmm. Sorry for you. Mm -hmm. I was having a good day, too. Pete Carroll uh, quit as a coach of the Seahawks. I can't stand Pete Carroll. Uh, Mike Vrabel uh, was out in Tennessee. He was doing pretty well, and he was beating people, and he beat us, which I did not like. And uh, Ron Rivera got, like, the, some coaches got fired. The Pete Carroll thing I was thrilled about. I didn't care about the other ones. Uh, but now the great, the GOAT, Nick mm -hmm. Saban. That's unfortunate. But hey, he got us six championships. He got us into uh, uh, other games that we did not win, but he got us there. I'm sure you haven't broken anything yet, like a glass or anything. No, I, you know, everybody, I, I remember when Saban went to um, Alabama, mm -hmm. I was wearing a t-shirt at, at Northwestern, and this guy comes up to me, it was at Northwestern Tailgate, and he had a Michigan uh, State shirt on. And he's like, hey, you happy that uh, that Saban's at Alabama? It's like when he first got there, maybe second year. And I go, yeah, yeah, he's, it's great. He's a great, great, great college coach. And he goes, yeah, well, wait till he leaves you. Like, like I was dating his ex girlfriend. Was it like a disgruntled ex? He's like, hey, how's things good? Things good with Melissa? Yeah, Melissa's great. She's like, well, wait till she leaves you. For now. Yeah, yeah, for now. Well, you'll find out she's a whore. <laughs> Saban's a whore. Yeah. So, but he did not leave us. Whatever your name was, Michigan State nerd. Mm, yeah, take that. Yeah. But whatever. It was a great time. I We won one. We won one national championship. We went out to um, Pasadena. We beat Texas. And I was like, doesn't get any better than this. And then we won another one. And I was like, wow. And then we won six. <laughs> That's an awesome era. Awesome era. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody will ever have a better run than that with recruiting. Now that NIL is involved, that probably was part of his issue where he's like, I, this is, I'm older. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this. Let's get out while... I can enjoy the rest of my life a little I, bit. I can see that. He felt handcuffed a little bit. That's a whole new world to learn. Mm -hmm. He mastered the game of, of of college football recruiting before NIL, and he was one of the best um, coaches ever. One of the good, His in-game adjustments were a little suspect. But uh, for a planner, there was no one better. Mm -hmm. No one better than the great Nick Saban. So I feel it. He's not dead. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you are talking about him like he's dead. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be connected to the school forever. Yeah. Uh, but great job, Coach. We salute you. Uh, back to the Clinton crime family. <laughs> oh, the family just keeps on committing crimes. We were not we were not uh, attacked by anyone yet. No, I, I think it's going to be like a sneak attack. I think we're going to get like sure. microdosed with with poison or something, mm -hmm. or the directed microwave uh, radiation that Havana syndrome. Oh yeah, that they were giving people. Yeah, it's going to hit us hard. Yeah, you just don't talk about powerful people that should be better, or else you're a goner. <laughs> Uh, Epstein Island participants, uh, Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Richard Branson were allegedly secretly recorded uh, having sex with underage girls by good old Jeff Epstein. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So you there's... know, Epstein sounded like such a good guy, but he's recording people without I mean, him. He wasn't creepy wow. or anything. I would have never expected that from him. But other people that got uh, mentioned of that were uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, which, come on, that guy's cool. Yeah, every, you know what? He's Everyone knows he likes him young. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, he likes him young, but I don't think he's going to an island for it. No. But who knows? He probably is on his private jet. Yeah. Um, Cameron Diaz came out and said, I've never met that guy. I would not do that. I'd be um, really upset. I love Cameron Diaz. Yeah. I'd be upset. But she, I mean, she helped with Harvey Weinstein. That's true. <laughs> she was in a lot of Weinstein films. <laughs> uh, Naomi Campbell. Mm. Why does she have to be there? She seems weird and rude, but I don't think she's a pedophile. <laughs> David Copperfield's a different story. Mm. Um, you know. Not not uh, great looking there. A little scary. Mm. He seems weird. Yeah. He seems like he's like, I have a magic trick for you. And then you wake up and you're like, what happened to me? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I bet he's pulled that trick <laughs> on many. <laughs> Poof, now I'm gone. Yeah. And you're like taking a shower and you're like, this doesn't, my body doesn't feel right. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. And that other, David Blaine. Those magicians, man, you can't trust them. No, no, you really can't. Anybody They're... that can hypnotize you is doing horrible things to you while you're hypnotized. Shady. Yeah. Sure. Like, that's when they grew up thinking, like, I want to hypnotize people. You have an ulterior motive. If a, if a magician comes up to you and is like puts like a thing in front of your face, mm -hmm. like you just, just start swinging. Yeah. Like you 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 got to get your way out of it. Do not look at that thing. 
<laughs> do not look. You will never be the same. And shockingly, Michael Jackson's on that list. Not, oh. not Michael. Color me surprised. He looks great. He look at him. He looks like a normal human being. I believe he is on trial here for uh, pedophilia charges, but still. <laughs> How could you? That dream is going to, that, that face is going to be in my nightmares. I don't, you know, a lot of people are like, Michael didn't do that. Michael couldn't do that. I, I think Michael had Peter Pan syndrome. He named his, yeah. and, and he was very repressed. And I think he probably did some things that were less um, egregiously evil, mm -hmm. but still wrong crimes. And I think they were just more innocent minded, yeah. like a kid playing with another kid and they were doing stuff they really didn't understand. I'm for sure he didn't understand what he was doing. It doesn't make it right. I still look at the parents like, why do you think that was a good idea? Uh, the parents. <laughs> why would you leave your kids there? W what are you thinking? Yeah. What are you thinking? If somebody gives my kid a ride home, I'm like, where'd you go? Yeah. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, he's, he's nice? Yes, yes. What else happened? <laughs> what evil happened to you? <laughs> yeah. I'm not dropping them off at a pop star's house. For the night. Who has a fucking carnival in his yard. Yeah. No thanks. So, yeah. Um, this whole thing is so crazy. Mm -hmm. And sadly, I don't think anybody's going to pay at all. No. At all. I mean, Epstein didn't kill himself. No one believes that. No, nobody does. But no one will ever find out what really happened. The camera wasn't working. Yeah, there was nobody watching it right at the right moment. And, and no, we'll never find out what happened. He either didn't kill himself, or they snuck his ass out of there, and they wanted they get him reconstructive surgery, and they're like, "Do that thing again. Maybe we start yeah. that island we all like to go to." <laughs> the pedophile snuck him out. Uh huh. And it's just like face off. Where now he looks like somebody else, and he's just like, same playbook. <laughs> Epstein Island too. We're not making fun of it. We're making fun of that. There's no justice for horrible people. No. If they got money, they got power, they got influence, they got powerful friends. Mm -hmm. You're good. We'll pretend like we hung you. We'll turn the camera off. No one will care. We'll change the cycle, the news cycle. We'll start a war somewhere. Yeah, You're good. Go. There's all these wars. It's just to change the subject. Uh huh. We just just do that thing you do where we get all those underage girls on an <laughs> island. Fucking pieces of shit. Let's talk some football. All right. NFL picks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest. The one and only Kitty Keeley is back with us. <laughs> How are you, honey? I'm good. How are you? Good. You ready to uh, talk some football? Yeah, let's do it. We needed an expert. <laughs> I brought yeah. in the, clearly not me. <laughs> I brought in the ringer. I'm like, we need a little help. <laughs> There's only a few games. What do we got, Kitty? What are we going to do first? Uh, NFL Wild Card Weekend. Yeah, what do we got, Sam? What's the first game? Right, first game, Cleveland Browns at Houston Texans. It's 3.30 p.m. on Saturday. The Texans are plus 2.5 with a total of 44.5. Yeah, so uh, the Browns played uh, on Christmas Eve at Houston, and they won 36-22. Uh, Flacco had a huge game. He had like 360 yards. It was great. CJ Stroud was out. Davis Mills and Case Keenum played, but not very well. Uh, and, and, and Flacco threw for three touchdowns. What are we taking on this one? Uh, we're taking that over at 44 and a half. Yeah, I like the Texans here, but then I looked at the matchups later, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you like in this? Who are you going to take? We're going to go to that later? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go to that later. What, what else are we taking here, Sam? All right, next up, of course, Miami Dolphins at Kansas City Chiefs at 7 p.m. on Saturday night. The Dolphins are plus 4.5 with a total of 44.5. The only reason that I think the Dolphins even have a chance is because this might be the coldest playoff <laughs> game in the history of the playoffs. It could be minus 5 for the game. Um Maybe they slip more than us. We our, our our injury report looks like a war memorial. You should see the list, and it's just like broken neck, <laughs> get gunshot wound. It's terrible, terrible. Uh, the Chiefs won twenty one fourteen in, in Germany in November. We remember that game, Kitty, don't we? we? Do. Yes, we do. It was horrible. Yeah, yeah it was horrible. Was okay. um, but the Dolphins had more first downs, more passing yards, more rushing yards. Sure. They played better, but they just shot themselves in the foot. Like they've been doing a lot lately. Hard Knocks is hard to watch lately. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the best loss we've ever had, guys. I've heard that about five times. Bring the team together. <laughs> oh, d d this is when ad the adversity in your life. Yeah. It's like, we've had enough of that. Win a goddamn game. So, Travis Kelsey's questionable with a neck injury. Like I said, the Dolphins are a mess. What are we taking, Sam? We're taking that Dolphins at plus four and a half. Surprise. <laughs> Reluctantly. <laughs> I just, I can't take a total here because of the weather. I just think maybe the four and a half is a good number in a playoff game, but we just were so banged up. 
I mean, I'm surprised you think the cold's going to be uh, good for the Dolphins. It's not. I'm just saying if we had any chance, oh, okay. it's changing the terrain, changing the weather a little bit, and maybe their team makes more mistakes Got with it. frozen hands than we do. Maybe if we just run the ball more and, I don't know. I, I, I don't love the pick. Don't put a lot of money on it. <laughs> Chiefs have been un- the Chiefs have been very underwhelming, though. Yeah. I, I, they're not the team of old. The Taylor Swift factor has really ruined that team. <laughs> It's all her fault. Thanks a lot, Taylor. You've done nothing. So, all right, what's the next one, Sammy? Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers at Buffalo Bills. It's noon on Sunday. The Steelers are plus 10 with a total of 36. Okay, normally I'd say Bills are going to smoke them, but the Bills have been one of the most Jekyll and Hyde teams all season. And this is going to be another weather issue game. 25 mile an hour sustained winds, 52 mile an hour wind gusts. It's going to be 23 degrees, feels like 7 degrees. What are we taking? We're taking that Steelers at plus 10. I mean, Steelers are, are used to this garbage weather. Mm. They're playing Mason Rudolph at quarterback, but he's won the games. I, plus 10 seems like a lot. It does. And, I, you know, I think Pittsburgh's going to be that sleeper team. What do you think? You like anything in this? I, I think Buffalo's going to hose them. I mean, 10 points, and Buffalo's used to the bad weather, too. It's not like they get anything better over there. Is that right? That's true. Mm-hmm. Having a bite. <laughs> Uh, after the camera's off. <laughs> Buffalo. I know you don't like them. But I'm just going to be sitting in my shape. I don't see anything uh, positive from the Steelers, really. I think they kind of hobbled in there. And, and the Bills have been hot lately. I think they've won their last few games. So. It's more about I don't think the Steelers are going to win. Yeah. But it could be a, a weather game where there's mistakes. And the Josh Allen factor, as we all know, you're going to see somebody who's going to absolutely dazzle you or absolutely baffle you. I do like the Steelers. I, I, I do like your pick of plus 10. I just think that the Buffalo is definitely going to win. Yeah, I think they're going to win. Okay, we're back together <laughs> now. What's the next game, Sam? Uh, we got Green Bay Packers at Dallas Cowboys. It's 3.30 p.m. on Sunday. The Packers are plus 7.5 with a total of 50.5. Don't love either of these. This seems like a prop game to me. Yeah. Kitty, what are we taking on that prop there? Uh, we got C.D. Lamb over 96 and a half yards. C.D. Lamb has wow. killed it this year. I do like him. And I think he's going to put over 100 on him. He's just been unbelievable. Tyreek Hill's had an amazing year. He really has. C.D. Lamb has probably been second best. So, yeah, I like a prop there. We'll, we'll post a few more props. We wanted to take everything. It's something in every game. Except maybe the last one. We got Sammy's pick on this one. Yeah. What's that game, Sammy? All right, I'm looking at the, the Los Angeles Rams at the Detroit Lions at 7 p.m. Sunday night. Rams are plus 3.5, and, and there's a total of 15.5. I, I honestly, I think Detroit Lions, they're coming from a weak division. They're not going to go far. I'm taking the Rams at 3.5. Spoken like a true Bears fan. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, their division's weak. I mean, we, we did nothing on the other games. I, don't, I just don't think Detroit's got it in them. Well, they have a bad defense. I will give you that. But this is an interesting game because it's the teams that traded for each other's quarterbacks. Yeah. We got Stafford going to the Rams, and they dumped Goff. They were like, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you, we'll throw in Goff. And Goff has been very good for them. He's put up some big numbers. What do you think in this game, Kitty? I, yeah, well, back to your trade point, you know, it was like Stafford came in. He was a hero of uh, L.A. winning the Super Bowl. And Goff was like, please get him out of here. And now the tables are a little turned. I'm excited to see if Jared Goff and the... Uh, can exact some revenge, maybe if you want to call it, yeah. on, the, on the Rams. I'd like they're get they're given three, right? So I think um, I think our friends at Detroit are going to win this one. Yeah, but Sammy's got you got you got it in at three and a half. It is now three, hmm. but uh, I, I like I'm looking at two bets here. What, what am I looking at, Sammy? You got the Lions team total over twenty seven and a half, and the Jerry Goff over two hundred sixty and a half passing yards. The Goff over two sixty and a half. I really like. I think he's going to put up big numbers. Yeah. I think they're gonna they're gonna set him up to put up big numbers. I think Dan Campbell, that's kind of his guy now, yeah. and I think they're gonna light it up. Um, even though the, the Rams, uh, you know, their, their defense is what it was, but I think Goff's gonna have a big game. The twenty-seven and a half, I kind of like. I'm hoping that uh, dips down to twenty-seven, and then I would definitely take it. And what's the last one? Philadelphia Eagles at Tampa Bay Buccaneers, seven p.m. on Monday night. The Bucks are plus three, and there's a total of forty-four. Breaking news. This still sucks. Still sucks. I'm sick of the breaking news that sucks. This, is, this and this. Okay, there's not enough info on this one. We will be back, and I will put this on Twitter. But nobody knows if Jalen Hurts is going to play. He, he, he broke his middle finger. It's a mess. He didn't look good. Um, and the team has kind of gone downhill. Now, Buccaneers, they did nothing last week. Baker Manfield is still hurt. He'll probably play, but it would be Mar- Marcus Mariota versus Baker Mayfield. I mean, that's their Monday night game. Yeah. Oh God, this game is underwhelming. Oh, yeah, underwhelming. What do you, what do you, what, what would you take here, Sammy? 
I, I'm gonna have to go with the Eagles. I mean, if it's Mariota, you're still going with the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I honestly, like, I, I think the Eagles. I know he's like you're saying with the injuries and everything, but I think the Eagles still got potential. Yeah. What about you, Kitty? Uh, it's tough because yeah. the Eagles started out so strong. They didn't lose a game until I mean, they lost one game right. uh, from the start of the season to December, and then now we're looking at you know six, six, five out of six losses. So yeah. I, well, well, hold that thought. Because we're going to go to your big board here. Oh. The graphic. Woo. Nice. The kitty graphic right here. <laughs> um, let's do our picks. Okay. okay so give me give me yours first. got to make your pick on that one. Yeah. On the... You, you got Eagles, Tampa Bay. Okay. I'm going to go with the Eagles. Okay. I think they're going to pull it out. All right. Let's, let, let's see your board. Okay. L.A., Detroit. L.A., Detroit. I'm going Detroit. All right. Packers, Cowboys. Oh, as a Bears fan, I can never root for the Packers. So, I, and Dak Prescott actually is playing pretty good. So, I'm gonna go with uh, Dallas. All right. So, you, you, I like your board here. And so, let's go back up. You got Tampa Bay, San Francisco. Who you got out of there? Oh, Niners all the way. Okay. Then you got Detroit, Dallas. Who you got? I'm gonna go with Detroit. I want to ride them through the NFC uh, Championship. So you got San Francisco versus the Detroit. Yes. That's that could be interesting because well, they the. the there could be a lot of points in that one. Yeah. Uh, can San Francisco <laughs> stop Detroit? Detroit can really stop no one. Yeah. Who do you got? Oh, definitely the Niners. <laughs> yeah. I think that's. I think you're right on that one. Yeah. All right. Let's head to the AFC. Okay. You got Cleveland at Houston Texans. Who do you like in that one? Uh, God, that's tough. With uh, you know, you got your veteran QB versus your freshman QB, and Flacco's got a lot more experience. Um, I'm gonna go with the Browns. I. I Here's why I think you're right. Because they are dying to have Flacco back at Baltimore to play Baltimore. Yep. That would be such a storyline. Uh-huh. The refs might throw an extra flag here and there to make that happen. <laughs> All right. We're going to skip this next game okay. because I know it's near and dear to us. <laughs> yes. Steelers, uh, uh, Bills, you've already said you're going with yep. the Bills there. Bills. What are you taking, Kitty, in the Dolphins Chiefs? Don't go with your heart. Go with that big noggin of yours. Uh-huh. Go with um, that brain, I mean, not that you have a big head. I'm the big head guy here. I, I, I love the Dolphins, but I do think the Chiefs are going to win this game. I, they just play really, really well in the playoffs. And, and while they're not fully there, the Dolphins are just so banged up. Um, and they haven't really had any momentum going into this game. I. You have every right Chiefs. to say that. Sorry. You have had to watch 17 <laughs> Dolphin games. <laughs> and, and, and six very poor ones. Um, or whatever we lost. It's, it feels like six. Uh, okay, so now you're going Baltimore versus Cleveland. Who do you got? Baltimore. It seems easy. Yeah. And then you got KC versus Bills, which should be a good game. Yeah. Or Dolphins versus Bills if they can pull it off. Yeah. Either way, I think the Bills win that one. Uh, the Bills beat KC in the in the regular season, and uh, they've beaten the Dolphins twice in the regular season. Yeah. So, I don't know. I really uh, – I, I don't think the Bills are that impressive right now, but – they're beating these teams, and I, that's why I, I see them. You got Bills there? Bills. So you got Bills, Baltimore. Yep. Who do you got? Okay, so you got Ravens, Niners. You Ravens got the one seat. Yeah. That's too easy, but no. they're, they're blowing. They're, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it after uh, the week one. And, uh, you know, obviously Baltimore and San Francisco still be in there. Yeah. But who do you got as your Super Bowl winner? That one's a little more tricky, uh, but I'm going to go with the Ravens. You have made Robert Kraft very happy. <laughs> it's all for you, Bob. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> I think uh, I think they just their offense is too overpowering, and um, the Niners. While the Niners are good, they've they haven't they've lost some key games that they really shouldn't have. So I yeah. Think. All right, Sammy. What do you disagree with in Kitty's picks here? I mean, I, I do agree. Go San Francisco to Baltimore, but I think San Francisco wins the Super Bowl. Okay. Ooh. All right. I I, I got I got a. I got one big one that I disagree with. I think uh, I think Dallas is going to beat Detroit, and I think they're going to give San Francisco a pretty damn good game. That'd be fun. Uh, and then it's hard. Baltimore is the best team yeah. right now. <laughs> I think Buffalo is going to get there versus Baltimore. <sighs> the Dolphins. I mean the Dolphins. <laughs> I'm picking the Ravens to win it all. <laughs> You're lucky, Rob. Yep. Actually, we're probably mushing the hell out of them. <laughs> All right. And Lamar, is just, he just seems inspired this year. He's getting yeah. it all done. He's doing it. He's getting it all done. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right. Well, you heard it here first. The Keeley family thinks the, the, the Ravens are going to do this. So yeah. we'll see. All right. Kitty, thank you for being here. Do you yeah. want to stick around for the news? Uh, sure. It won't, be, it won't be long. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Sammy, what else is in the news? Well, new studies have revealed that bottled water, water is much less safe than previously believed. Yeah. Uh, this is not shocking. 
you know it's not i heard about this too i'm like this is this is breaking news they, they say these are there's all these um plastic particles in it and all the stuff that they're like it may cause a lot of cancer and developmental issues okay here's my rant we're in the most advanced civilization i mean we're in 2024 we're in the greatest country in the world why don't we demand clean water there are <laughs> pipes yeah why don't we demand this why do we say okay you know what we're real green we want to go green but let's allow our water to be delivered in plastic bottles and everyone drinks 50 of them a week thanks this is not good Flint, Michigan Flint. still doesn't have clean water. Why don't they get clean water? Why are we just giving everything away and not focusing on our problems? Okay? I got an issue with this. Yeah. It's sad. I'm not in a good mood. No. I'm not in a good mood. So sad. I was not happy about this news before this came up. <laughs> and now I'm not happy about this. So, yeah, there, there's all these things like, oh, yeah, I guess we shouldn't do that. And all these people who are these activists and they go to these rallies are drinking bottles of water. And they're making, they're cutting down trees to make their signs to protest climate change. And they're saying anything green, we're, we're green, but they're not. They're driving to these things. Oh, they're flying to these things. Oh, well, these celebrities are. Yeah. First oh, class. The celebrities, yeah. With, with yeah. underage girls on every plane. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're finding that out. Uh, yeah. They're like, let's just, uh, let's, let's pretend we care about the earth so we can go on trips, private jets and do horrific sex acts to minors. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do it. I just reported it. <laughs> We're the news, Kitty. Right. We're the news that everybody listens to. Always. We had like 70 views last week. <laughs> so this should be the number one issue for every politician, but it doesn't make sense to them because they have to do these trade deals and they have to make sure everybody in China is happy and they have to make sure they can get more money from us to say, hey, you know these things we did wrong? Well, we're going to clean them up with your taxpayer money. So yeah, bottle of water. <laughs> this is no surprise. Sammy, what else is in the news? Brooklyn High School students were forced to stay home on Wednesday as their school was commandeered to shelter nearly 2,000 migrants. New York. New York. This, this happened today. Yeah. Disaster. Ah. There was a bad storm in the area, and the, micro, uh, the, the migrant shelter was deemed unsafe. I get it. Bad storm. You don't want to put people at risk. These are human beings. I'm all for, for protecting the vulnerable. I feel for asylum seekers. But why are they more, why are they more of a priority than our American children? Yeah. You know? And they're like, it's just a day. But th they all said, like, this this can happen anytime. Yeah. Why aren't they putting them in government buildings? Yeah. Yeah. The government made this decision. They used it as a political talking point to say, we welcome everyone, blah, blah, blah. But there's a there's a way to get into the country. Ellis Island wasn't crashed. You know, <laughs> it, it wasn't over overrun by, by you know, warlords. They, they had to come in. They were treated like shit. They had, to they had to change their names. You know, I'm glad people are doing this the right way. But no one ever said, like, you know, show up on our shores and just take our schools over. That's crazy. There's so many other places they could have put them. There's yeah. so many other places. I, the, the, the taking over a school was a weird choice. Yeah. Put them in the football stadium. Right. Mm -hmm. Stadiums always. They the, always go to stadiums. The Giants and Jets are done. They're not being used. Take that, Jets fans. <laughs> take that, Giants fans. <laughs> but seriously, like, there's other places. Shut down a goddamn NBA game. Shut down a Brooklyn Nets game right. and put them there. If this is a thing, don't make the kids miss high school. When, when they did the COVID lockdown, all the kids had to miss prom and all their events and all the stuff they work for. And there were a lot of fucking suicides and a lot of people should be fucking answering for that. So this is not the time to say, sorry, there's a lot of cursing on this episode. <laughs> Things have happened to me today, everyone. <laughs> Things have happened. Hey, James is cranky today. <laughs> We've done enough. We've done enough. The adults have done enough to harm the children in this country. Yeah. Okay. So knock it off. Yeah. Knock it off. But it's, you know, we want to help people, but it can't be a political talking point where you go, come on in. We're seeing this all around here, Sam. Mm -hmm. We're seeing this in Illinois where they're going, we don't know where to put these people. Let's drop them off in neighborhoods yeah. and, and let them figure it out. Just bust you, them around. You don't make these decisions. It's not fair to them either. No. It's not fair to these people that the, the New York mayor, uh, Eric uh, Adams. Yeah. yeah. He asked the people, uh, of the boroughs. He's like, hey, listen, you know, I, I made this giant problem. Um, if you have extra rooms in your house, mind taking a couple migrants? What? Wow. Yeah. He's like, he's like, we'll compensate you. Oh, sure. Do you want to get in a deal with the government where they're paying you rent? Uh, uh, and, and is it your job? Uh, you know, 
we, we have an extra room in this house that we use in office. Is that our job to house migrants today? Right. And yeah. New York doesn't have extra rooms. I'm right. sorry, but no. I've lived in New York. They pack those with roommates. There's no extra space. It's too expensive to have extra rooms in New York. They don't have room. Do you realize how expensive it is to live in New York? Yeah. Wow. If you have a brownstone or something there, you want some guy going like, hey, I guess I live here now. What are we watching tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, put on soccer. Screw this football. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, let's be unsafe with people we don't know. Would you let a guy that just lived down the street who's like, you know what? Uh, I lost my house. Like, would you let him move in with you? You kind of know him, and yeah. you still wouldn't let him move no. in with you. Yeah, so that's not happening. Not right. So, yeah, this has been a tough day for the PTP. <laughs> Sonic food, not good. This is a disaster in Alabama. Uh -huh. It's over. The, the, the dynasty's over. They'll never get anyone as good as the great Nick no. Saban again. Never. Coach, you were the greatest, the greatest of all time. We appreciate you. We appreciate everybody watching the PTP. We always appreciate Kitty coming on Thank and helping us out with her expert analysis. <laughs> oh, yes. And overall glow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're the best, baby. And uh, we appreciate it. We'll see you on the Tuesday show. Great. Maybe my voice will come back by then. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you then. Bye. Heavy handed as fuck. <laughs> Bye, America's driving. Bye, America's driving. You are not game day food. No, and, and thanks for ruining peanut butter for me. And burgers and shakes. Boo.